first of all, welcome. Thank you for taking time out of your days to spend the next 20 minutes with us. The first thing I would like to do is introduce, to my right, I have Chef Hans Rehm. How are you, folks? Rich's Food Service Thank products. you for showing up. At least you get all the claps. You always do. Mm -hmm. To my left, I have Chef Greg Markowski from Lincoln Mary Chef. <laughs> and what we'd like to do, you showed up right on, right on time. So what we'd like to spend the next 20 minutes doing is telling you a little bit about our advanced cooking technology. In order to do that, we're going to take a few steps back to the 1960s, where Mary Chef developed the microwave technology. So those of you watching at home can stay with us as well. And what we're going to do is move into the 1970s and talk a little bit about the combo therm and how it evolved with the combi ovens. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to be showing you some food products, but the food products aren't just going to showcase the ovens. We're also showcasing then, how uh, we're kind of evolving as equipment manufacturers with food service products. So when we have customers, or we have our partners like McCain's, like Nestle's, like Rich's, have been kind enough to bring some of their products for us to showcase, that we're able to show how the advanced cooking technology falls right in line with how products are coming from the factory. So we're going to be using a lot of trends that we noticed this year, you know, as far as, you know, like healthier options. Uh, if you were at this morning's demonstration, you would have saw that this morning we had a gluten-free French toast. So if you had an allergy, or even if, you weren't, if you're not allergy sensitive, it still offered a healthy option. So what we're going to do now, and I believe Hans has in currently, is we're going to do a French fried, is it green beans right now? One, two, three. Now. <laughs> Perfect timing. How did it's that It's almost know like that, it's huh? made for TV, right? Like you just, it's automatically coming out. And what he's got coming out right now is this is just basically a pizza stick. Now normally, that wouldn't be that exciting, but what you have to look at when you're talking about advanced cooking technology is the steps that have been removed to produce that product. Normally, that product has to be pulled from frozen the day before because it's a dough, retarded overnight, and then it has to be placed into an oven and baked off. Whereas here, what we've done in the combo therm by Cleveland, by using steam, we're actually gonna put it in the oven and under 15 minutes, we have a fresh cooked product. All right, this is a bacon cheddar dip right here that we're gonna be serving to you. So you kinda wanna hold on to that because there's a few different things that you can use in there. So following some of the trends that we have with food, some of the mega trends we see this year with foods are gonna be healthier options. They're gonna be familiar foods, comfort foods. You know, because where the economy's at, it's gonna be smaller plates, smaller portions with familiar foods. And that's Excuse really me, what we've done. Here they are. Chef, what do we have here? We have the cross breadsticks. Excellent. So what we have here is we just have the... Set that right there for you. Zach and learn, right? Doesn't only take me a day. There you are. Yep. So these right here were cooked in the combo therm and done from frozen in under 14 minutes. We get everybody over here? No. So moving right along, we also have our induction by Garland. So if you move over here, right where Chef Hans is standing, you can see our induction tops. You see the walk in front and you see the flat top and back. And induction is part of the accelerated cooking technology as well because that is instant. Only when the pan makes contact does that actually start to heat up the pan. And you can actually start to boil water in under 90 mm -hmm. seconds because of that direct contact. So we have the walk style and we also have the flat top available, uh, version available right behind. To my left, you see the Mary Chef. The Mary Chef is using multiple cooking technologies as well. It's using a microwave assist. It's using impingement. Impingement is just a fancy word for saying forced air. Hold We're accelerating empty. forced air at a very precise rate of up to 60 miles an hour. And then below, we're going to talk to you a little bit later about the Delphiel Versa Drawer, which is a Versa Drawer available both in two drawer and four drawer applications. Now, even though that's refrigeration, that will still tie into the advanced cooking technology. Are you guys picking on each other, really? Green it's okay. Beans, it? The whole world can see you at home, by the way. <laughs> so, again, it's using food products to showcase. So what I would like to do is I'd like to call Chef Greg up here real quick, and we're going to talk to you about one of the megatrends we see here. One of the megatrends that we notice is called the clockless lifestyle. The clockless lifestyle is that consumers are starting to demand products at off-peak hours. You know, they're talking about they want to open until 2 a.m. or later, 24 hours a day, breakfast for dinner, so on and so forth. So, Chef Greg, why don't you tell them a little bit about the clockless lifestyle? Thank you. It's part of our busy lifestyles today, you know, just like Chef Dave was saying. They want meals all hours of the day. It's not just a couple of peak hours during the day. It's everything is spread out. 
your equipment needs to accommodate that. It needs to be fast, it needs to be easy to use. We use the easy touch smart buttons. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Chef Greg. And if you notice what Chef Greg said, the easy touch. If you look at the control panel on the, on the Combo Therm 2-in-1, and you look at the control panel on the Mary Chef, you're going to tell that they looked exactly alike. And what Manitowoc's doing is they're looking at standardizing a control panel so that any employee can walk up to any piece of equipment and be able to operate it. And that's very important, especially, you know, because we are a digital age. You know, I see people walking Shouldn't around. Shouldn't you, Chef, have a tight right schedule. Ahead. There you are. I understand. <laughs> so now you know. We, we're looking at taking the control panel and making it a standard so that with the digital age, they can walk up to any piece of equipment, locate the menu item by picture, by description, load the product and walk away. Now, you notice on the Versa drawer, right by where Chef Greg is standing, that it's not an easy touch control panel, but it's still a very simple operation. It's only one button to switch the drawers between chill, thaw, refrigerator, freeze, okay? So what we have here, are these are the crispy the green beans back. supplied to us. And normally, these are products that are ready to go into a deep fryer. Now, as a product goes from a freezer into an oven, the first thing it's going to do is condense. The faster we can remove the moisture from that oven, it's going to do two things. Number one, it's going to stay crispy longer, right? Because if something has moisture in it, it's not going to be crispy. So simply by spraying cold water across the drain in the oven inside the combo therm, it's actually going to taste like it came out of a deep fryer. So they're going to be like fried products, and that ties into our healthy trend, okay? They're products that are ready to go into a deep fryer, but all we're doing is removing the moisture from the cavity to give it a crispy exterior, and the inside will actually taste like the product that it was meant to intend. So a french fry tastes like potato. The green beans, actually, you can actually taste the green bean, right? So, falling back into the advanced cooking technology. Advanced cooking technology is not necessarily a drag race. It's not about how fast you can get that food from the refrigerator, from the freezer, to the customer. It can be also be as simple as removing steps in that process. I mean, if you look behind me, you can see how close the ovens are to the serving area. You know, we don't have a very large space to work with here, and we have three highly uh, skilled chefs behind me. So Chef Greg, who is, I think, how tall are you, Chef Greg? 6'2"? Six 6'2", two? Six two. Six two, and he's got, what, two and a half feet of space to work with here? So he doesn't have a whole lot of space to work with. But what we've done is we've actually put the Versa drawer below and put the two Mary Chefs above so that he never really has to leave his station. You know, he has, all he has to do is take his products from freezer, from refrigerated, and move it in. And it's also about reducing that. So his footprint is right where he's standing. He One can more offload. Time, Chef. Thank you. He can offload and he can load, cook, and chill as he sees fit. So, the foods you see right here, again, recognizable, you know, everybody's seen a meatball before. This is Mediterranean style, and what we've done is we've taken a very traditional meatball, and we've skewered it with a breadstick, and we've simmered it in some Mediterranean spices, and you'll be able to taste the olive. And then the next trend that we're gonna kinda tie into this dish is called green hot. You know, everybody here is green, going green, it's, it's paying attention to the environment, it's being friendly towards the environment. And the other trend that we're also looking at is going local. You know, that's a hot trend when foods are, our products are farmed and supplied locally. These greens that you see here were actually sourced by Cahaba Farms, which is located in, is it Odessa? Is that correct? Odessa. Odessa, correct. Florida, thank you. Correct. So, it's a very familiar dish, but it just has a little twist on it. So, Chef Hans, <laughs> Chef Hans has been working with Riches for how long now? Uh, approximately 30 years. 30 years. So, I think it's pretty safe to say for over the past 30 years at Riches that you're... <laughs> I was actually he was like, I was, yeah, the, I, I, do a I was in the carriage actually. I was okay, in, yeah, good. I was in the crib. Thank you though, I appreciate yeah. that. So over the last thirty years, it's pretty safe to say that food service products have changed a little bit. Mm, yeah, I, I will say so, bit. Chef. You know, technology progresses, mm -hmm. food service, food items progress, you know, they kinda go hand in hand, they build up and you know, you get a better thing and better thing, and then he wants something new, so you progress and he wants something new, you progress. You know, and it's all your fault, okay? None of us have anything to do with that. You guys are asking traditional recipes, traditional dishes, but you want them easier, you want them faster, you want them done right, and you want them to look the way they're supposed to look. So that's why we with technology keep up. You know, years ago, <clears throat> we had a lot of skilled labor. 
cheap labor, but skilled. Making bread, 30 pound bags of flour, you know, yeast, sugar, a lot of work. All of a sudden, hallelujah. What came along? Frozen dough. Frozen dough was a step up. That was easy. You know, all you got to do is talk. Oh yeah, and then shape it. You know, like when you have a French bread, you got to either scrape it this way or swing it once above your head and get it done and then score it and, you know. And then you had to proof it and then you had to bake it. I mean, it was still a lot of work. So the next level, automatic, normal procedure became par-baked bread. Par-baked bread was made possible by technology. Ovens with steam, okay, where you could get that good French crust. That before that wasn't possible. The only way possible was when you took the oven, one hand on the oven, one hand on a cup of water, open and done. Remember that? Okay, that's how you used to throw water in the oven and you got all that steam. Okay? So par-baked bread was the next one. You could do all those type of things with. Again, technology. You know, good thing, Chef, cinnamon rolls, okay? Chef asked me last night, Hans, can you make cinnamon rolls for tomorrow morning? I did. And I said, okay, fine, I'll make cinnamon rolls. So normally I take frozen pucks, set them on my baking sheets, put them in my cooler, okay, retarder, overnight, thaw them out, then put them in the proof box, you know, that 90 degree heat and 80% humidity. You don't know anything about it, but he's from Cleveland and I'm from Michigan, and we know what a nice sauna is, okay? So. Absolutely. Here you got that. Well, <clears throat> unfortunately, I had my eye on something else last night, and I forgot to set them all out and forgot to put them in there. Chef, please. Yes. Okay? I forgot to put them in there. So this morning when I came in at 7 o'clock, I said, oh, my God, he asked me for cinnamon rolls. I got to do something, you know? So I took the same pans. I put my cinnamon rolls in there, frozen. I went in here. I went to this oven, Convoterm. I programmed it with four minutes of steam and 12 minutes of baking. And I shoved the pans in there. You know what? They came out exactly the same as if I would have taught them out overnight, proved them, and baked them. Exactly the same product, okay? There is a question of technology catching up with an existing product and making the existing product work in modern equipment, okay? So it was pretty easy to do, and that's what we came out of it. Chef, sorry that I wasn't here on time to do all that stuff and what I you didn't made, do last night. You made up night, for it, I'll give you that. But you it definitely worked, made up for right? It. Yes, Thanks. absolutely. Well, thank you, Chef Hans. And you know, I really think that that's very important because it allows us to pay attention to the lifespan of our equipment. And that's the next thing I'm gonna talk about. When you look at lifespan of equipment, we're not looking at it just solving tomorrow's problems or solving tomorrow's you know, culinary questions. It's also about looking down the road. When we look at new pieces of equipment, whether it's to buy, to specify, whatever it may be, it all applies. We need to start looking at pieces of equipment that are gonna give us the most versatility throughout the lifespan of it. So when we buy new equipment, Manitowoc standard is to put it through a seven-year rigorous test, meaning that that piece of equipment has to at least meet that before it's able to be released. But when we buy, we buy the equipment, you know, we're looking to get at least 10 years out of it. And think about that. If we get that piece of equipment tomorrow, that takes us into the year 2020. That's pretty amazing when you think about it, 2020. And I'm pretty sure that Hans can back me up by, by saying, that Rich's food service products aren't going to be the same in the year 2020. Oh, absolutely not. And we need to start looking at pieces of equipment that are going to give us the most versatility down the road. So as products change, as the food service industry changes, you know, as culinary creations change and as the culinary world evolves, this is what we start needing to look into. And going back to the green hot just briefly, I'm going to reference these containers right here. Everything that you're eating on right now is also following that green trend. Our, one of our companies that we've paired up with, Bridgegate, actually produces these. These are both biodegradable and compostable, and they're able to go back into the earth within 90 days of being discarded, okay? The cutlery is made from potato starch. The packaging itself is actually made from sugar cane. So that, after being discarded 90 days, it's right back in the earth, okay? So it's also being aware of the environment at the same time. So, 
what I want to do before we, before we send you to, our, to your next station is I'm going to give you a few reasons on each one of these pieces of equipment that's going to add dollars to your bottom line. And I'm going to start with, all the way over to your left, is the Combo Therm 2-in-1. And what we're going to talk about there is what we call vertical cooking. The easiest way to visualize vertical cooking, think of a skyscraper. You take the same footprint and you build it up, right? Something cool going on up there? Okay, there we go. I wasn't sure where everybody was looking. I don't get the same visual you guys do. So on the two-in-one, all they've done is they've taken our existing mini and added another cavity to it. So we've doubled throughput without increasing the footprint. And if you notice with the easy touch control panel that Chef Hans has been using, you have one and you have two. You can operate both cavities simultaneously. So you can steam in one, cook, you, know, you can bake in another, you can proof in one and bake in the other, or you can steam your vegetables and do a roast in the bottom. Great visuals, thank you. And moving, moving right along, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stick with the combo therm for one more second. It uses what's called the advanced closed system to keep all that energy inside. We're basically, we're taking a cold water drain on the bottom so no energy can escape down the drain. Then we have a double pane glass. Chef, could you put your hand up against there? Thank you. So we, we've been running at 350 degrees all day and he's not gonna burn his hand by touching the glass because of the double insulation. So all of that energy is maintained inside the cavity. We're not losing any energy to the outside environment. So moving along to the right, you see the induction. You see the walk style and you also see the flat top. The cool part about induction is it's portable. You can unplug it, you can plug it somewhere else as the menu progresses. If you want to go to the front of the house to do limited time offerings, you know, the LTO, which is one of the other food concepts that's coming out right now. But it allows the expansion of the menu. It allows the theatrics to go back into, you know, the front of the house. So, and then moving right along again with the Versa drawer by Delfield. That's available both Brownies. in two drawer and four drawer applications. And yes, it's refrigeration, Brownies. but it does apply to the advanced cooking technology because of its versatility. We're, we're able to go, Brownies. you know, cook, I'm sorry, I apologize, thaw, chill, refrigerate, and freeze. And you can monitor and you can change those at any time. And here's the cool part about it is, is that it's Wi-Fi capable. That's right, sir, it is Wi-Fi capable. So what you have the ability to do when you add on the Wi-Fi capability is if something happens to it or a compressor goes down, what it's going to do is email that service company so when they come out, the first time they come out, with the right part to fix it and off they go. Okay? So that's all right there, right where Chef Greg's standing. But Chef Greg, I didn't forget about you, I promise, this time <laughs> around. But with the Mary Chef, you know, just kind of coming up quickly on the Mary Chef here, using the multiple cooking technologies inside the Mary Chef, they also use what's called cool skin technology. That oven's been running at what temperature, Chef Greg? 525. 525 degrees, and go ahead and put your hands straight on it. I know everybody's watching the flame on the brulee, and I'm sure the camera guy's getting that too, but we're gonna keep going over on the cool skin. So 525 degrees, and he can place his hand on the front of that oven. Again, because that radiant heat is not coming off the oven, that means it's staying inside the oven cooking the food. Cool part about the Mary Chef is if you don't have the existing hood space, it has a built-in catalytic converter. So all they need to do is they can plug it in anywhere. It does not need to go under a hood. All right. So Chef Greg, let's kind of tie this up a little bit. I want you to talk a little bit about, we already talked about the clockless lifestyle. Why don't we talk a little bit about the deity complex with these folks? Deity complex is about accomplishing miracles. And I promise you, if you take one thing away from this and you go to your, some of your operators, maybe somebody that's running a sub sandwich through an impinger, or a big ZD and they're running it through two and a half times and you show them how they can use the Mary Chef and do that big ZD in two and a half minutes, they're going to think you're a miracle worker. You walk on water. Thank you very much, Chef Greg. So hopefully you've got enough to eat. Hopefully you've had a good time. I know I have. So what we want to do is we don't want it to end here. We want you all the folks to finish up eating, ask any questions you, you want to. But we want you to go on over to our blending cup station where Chef Hans, Chef Dennis, and Chef Ryan are blending up and stirring up a storm over there in our, mix, in our blending station. That's the other Hans. The other Hans. We have multiple Hanses here. So if you go on over there, I highly recommend the watermelon mojito. Now, it doesn't have rum in it, but it's very refreshing. Sorry, I know it's kind of a big letdown. I apologize. But again, folks, thank you so much for stopping by and enjoy the rest of your show. Thank you. Thank you.